everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, last class we have discussed about the TypeScript objects and now in this video we're gonna discuss about uh, arrays concept in TypeScript. Okay let's see how to declare an array and how to loop through the array and how to use the specific functions of array. Okay so let's see now. So first of all I just create a fresh folder so 10 hype arrays. So in this I create type strip let's say app.ts okay so in this first I'm gonna take a basic array so let's uh, colors of type string array so you're gonna define an array like this okay string array is equal to an array so I'm gonna take white and uh, black silver white black silver and uh, purple okay so i have taken an array which contains the four elements all are string types so if you want to print them console.log of console.log of colors so let me check the output right click open terminal uh what it says colors array has been declared somewhere I say colors array you take one second huh? actually my Epstrom is giving some issue don't know why uh, let's say colors array so let's space it here okay still the problem come on this is yeah uh, no error now okay fine so let's say NP no sorry uh, TS node space app dot TS so you get the array okay fine so this is how you declare an array and uh, so we have uh, various uh, mm, like for loop and all to iterate so if you want to loop through an array we have a different different things uh, to loop through an array i think we have discussed in a javascript class as well so here we'll see how many ways we can loop through the array so we can loop through using for loop uh, normal for loop for in loop for off loop for each function uh, multiple ways so let's see them so first of all normal for loop so let's see how to iterate through the normal for loop uh, so for let i of type number is equal to 0 i start from the index 0 and i less than or equal to uh, colors array dot length minus 1 or I'll just say less than length and then i plus plus last index and then you can just specify console.log of colors array of i okay so if you have it you get all the values to be iterated i want to display them side by side uh, i can just say let's uh, uh, let's say string array not just string array i'll just take the output of type string is equal to an empty string okay so now what i do is uh, instead of has having this output plus is equal to backtick I just say um, colors array of I and some space okay so let's say console dot log of console dot log of output so let me run the program you get all the values like this if you want to get them uh, uppercase you can just say dot to uppercase so you get every value in uppercase format yes so this is one way this is just normal for loop uh, you have another one called for in loop so what is the for in loop is uh, let me just take the output as an empty okay for let index in colors array so this is the syntax of for in loop so for 
in we have one more call for off as well so in the place of in you get the off okay so what is the difference between for in and for off is in for in for every iteration you get the index of the element in for in for every iteration you get the index of the element in the for off for every iteration you get the element of the array directly element here you get the index then you directly get the element that's the only difference uh, so uh, this name can be anything okay you can write abcd also but generally we give index because we used to get the index okay so now here uh, what i do is um okay let's loop through and print it let me just copy paste in the place of this will be index and simply console.log of output so check it out you get the same results this is another way of iteration uh, we have another one uh, that's called for off for off loop that is just take output uh, is equal to empty i just reassign to empty with the empty value so for latch color you get the element itself so i just mention a color of color sare okay color of color sare so let's say output plus equal to backtick i use the color i use the color dot to uppercase some space done the second console dot log of output okay so here you get the index you pass the index to the array to get the value here directly you get the element i use that okay so if i run the program you get the result okay so next uh, one more is there for each function you can make this for each function of uh, arrays to loop through the array so let's say output is equal to empty so colors array so syntax will be like this colors array dot for each so this will take a callback function so you have to take a function which take the each color okay for every iteration you get the element as color and uh, so that you gonna use it like this and you can just say console dot log of console dot log of output so now you get again the same answer okay so this is another way of uh, iteration you can even use something called uh, for each with an arrow function so for each uh, with arrow function arrow function so what is this arrow function is you don't have a function keyword you just write an arrow this is become an arrow function okay you get almost same result okay so that's all you can just check okay that's fine that's fine so this is how you actually declare an array and you can loop through the array multiple ways okay fine but as of now we have just taken a string type of array and in the next video we'll see an uh, object array so okay an array with uh, contains and objects okay so let's meet in the next video for that thank you